Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online and how to become a work from home freelancer. So I wanted to do this quick video because I've been on a wait list for the ChatGPT app for Android users, and yes, I'm an Android user. ChatGPT released an app for iOS back in May, but they just released today ChatGPT available on Google Play for Android users, yay. So I wanted to download the app and show you what it's all about and I'm really excited about it so far. I think it's a great way to use ChatGPT. It's much easier than using the web browser on your phone. So go ahead, go to Google Play and just click install. You can see a few screenshots giving you ideas of how you can use the app for getting instant answers, tailored advice, professional input, creative inspiration, and learning opportunities. I'm going to show you how the app works. So let's just install it. And what's great about it is it's a very small file. It's only 5.39 megabytes. So even an old phone should be able to run this app without any issues whatsoever. So let's open up the app and then you're just going to log in with your ChatGPT account. Again, this is a free app. You do not need the plus account in order to use it. So once you've logged in, just click continue. Remember not to share any sensitive info in the app. And here we go. Now I have ChatGPT plus, I pay for the membership. So at the top, you can see I have two different options, either to use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Now, don't worry if you don't have plus, you can still use this the same way. You just won't have access to both of these models. And what's awesome about this is you can press and hold the microphone icon and give the app access to record audio and then just say your prompt. I'm a horrible texter. I'm much faster at typing on a computer. So I just did this sample prompt asking the app to give me 20 birthday ideas for a 10 year old boy who likes Zelda, Pokemon, Minecraft and Fortnite because my nephew's birthday is coming up. And you can see how quickly it's just given me 20 birthday ideas. It was so fast, the app. And just like with the web browser, you can continue on your chat and it will save your message history. So I went ahead and continued asking it to give me ideas for birthday presents. And it's gone ahead and given me birthday present ideas. So to copy anything that it says, you can just press and hold on the message and you can see the different options. There's copy, select text. You can also rate it if it was a good response or a bad response, or you can click regenerate response if you weren't happy with it and you want another response for the same prompt. You can also click on the menu icon on the top left and that will give you a few different options. You can click new chat. You can also click on history and see all of your chat GPT history, including from your web browser or anywhere where you logged in with your chat GPT account. There's also an option to go to settings. And if you go to settings, you can click on data controls and you can choose to clear your chat history, delete your account or export data. You can also turn off chat history and training if you do not want that option enabled. You may also want to select your language or just let it auto detect your language. And let me show you how awesome it is to have this app. Let's say, for example, you're running your social media account or someone else's social media account, and you quickly need to come up with a bunch of captions. Now, usually when people are posting on Instagram, they're using the Instagram app on their phone. So it's really handy to have the app so you can just copy and paste it from ChatGPT. So for example, I use the text to speech option to say I need a calendar for one month of Instagram posts for a weight loss Instagram channel. The post should be a mix of recipes, inspiration and workout tips. So ChatGPT has gone ahead and created me week by week, a schedule and ideas of things I can post. And after it's given me that schedule, I want it to help me even more so I've said, create a list of content for week one, and they've gone ahead and given me everything I need for my Instagram posts, motivational quotes, healthy recipes. It's even included hashtags. So all I would do is copy and paste this directly into Instagram. This is a handy app. Let's say you need help solving a problem. Even with homework, you can ask it to help you get the answer and then ask ChatGPT to explain why it got that answer and how it got that answer. It's just a great app to have when you're on the go, you're on the run, and you don't have time to be on your computer. You can also click on this plus icon right here to open up a new chat. And another thing you can do is click on the dots icon. And here you can rename your chat or you can delete your chat without having to delete your entire history. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know some of the things you are going to use the ChatGPT app for and what ways you think it's useful to have the app on your phone rather than using it on the computer. Thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you in my next tutorial.